Hi and welcome to this Faruno Australia Navnet TZ Touch 3 product feature training video. Today in this video we're going to be looking at Map Media's HRCO or High Resolution Color Overlay Charts. We're going to talk about how to turn them on, how to apply certain settings and some tips and tricks to get the most out of them and how you want to use them. So let's jump straight in. Okay. So here we are greeted with the standard map media vector chart. So this is just your standard navigation type chart or your fishing map. Uh, you can see some contour lines on there with some depths indicated. And we're looking at Browns Mountains, which is just off of New South Wales coast, off of Sydney rather. So to turn on the HR3Ds, we swipe up from the bottom and turn on the bottom menu. And along the left hand side there, you'll see a menu that's depth shading. And in there we tap HR3D chart. So that's turned on our HRCO charts and you can see in the background there the colors have just started to indicate as well. So what are we looking at here? We've got our vector chart underneath and we've overlaid a color image over the top uh, which indicates depth. So the redder the areas are the shallower type areas. In this case it's still 300 meters but they are shallower. And then we go to the blues which are deeper and the yellows and greens are in between. So those colors are automatically set. So if I was to look at any sort of depth, the HRCOs will automatically adjust their depth to give you the best image from minimum to maximum that's on the screen. So right now I've got a minimum on the screen of, of 340 meters and the deep stuff over the shelf there of 757 meters. If I zoomed in or moved to a different section on the chart, you'll see that the HRCOs will adjust themselves uh, and they will do the minimum maximums of what's on the screen. So you can see there now the blue or the deepest area is now 600 meters. If I wanted to manually set that myself, I can. So if I don't want the chart always changing the colors, uh, I can manually set a minimum depth and manually set a maximum depth. It helps if you wanted to look at a specific zone on the screen and not the entire screen. Um, it also helps keeping the same depth, the same colors if you go to the same areas a lot. So to turn it onto a manual color mode, uh, down in the bottom right hand, left hand side, you'll see underneath data and route there that there is a A that's highlighted in gold. So if I tap on that to turn it off, I'm now in a manual mode. So now this color bar is manually adjusted by me. Firstly, I can go to my minimum depth, so that's 372 meters, and I can increase that and say jump up to 400 odd meters and go done. And then my maximums, I can go to 619 and bring that back to say 600, bring it right back. And you can see how now it's just browns that's being mapped and not the entire you know, area from minimum to maximum off the shelf, etc. And I'm getting more detail out of it. So I'm at 500 meters, I might even bring that 400 up a bit further. Actually now I'll decrease it shallower. So I'll go to the tip, very top again. And I can bring in the maximum depth as well. And bring that down to, to what I want. So I'm basically mapping out uh, just Browns Mountains and not the entire area. So that's my custom set. So that's adjusting the color overlay. I can also have contour lines as well. So again, if I swipe up from the bottom, underneath HR 3D chart, you can see depth contour, and I'll tap on my contours. And now I've also got a contour map over the top of browns with my custom color set. Again, I can have uh, the contour lines in an automatic mode as well. So if the system automatically does it, and I'll just zoom in a bit closer, and it will adjust its uh, minimum maximum colors. And you can see I can have contour lines over the top as well. I can get even more detail out of the, out of the HRCOs as well with what we call PBG terrain shading. So terrain shading is like a shadow that puts over the, 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 the structure underneath um, and it gives you an idea of slope and, and you know, how fast things are dropping off. Um, and it just gives you a much more detailed picture. To turn that on, I go into home and settings and chart plotter. So again, that was home up in the top left, settings, chart plotter. And in chart plotter, I'll move the menu down and find I've got underneath my depth shading values. The bottom one is called PBG terrain shading. So this one here, 
and I'll turn that one just to say medium. And now if I go back, we can see on the charts, I've got even more detail. I've got a, shade, a terrain shading chart as well. So you can see you get a lot more detail uh, with, in addition to the contour lines and the colors with that PBG terrain shading. There are three settings on that terrain shading. So again, home, settings, and chart plotter. And you can see that I've got in my PBG terrain shading here, I've got off, which is no shading, light, medium, and strong. Light is for when the bottom is very steep because if you have a very steep bottom with a strong shading, the shading will be very dark and it, it takes away some of the detail. If it's a you know an average bottom, then you go to medium and then strong makes it very dark. So if you're in a steep bottom, you generally don't want strong. You'd want light or medium. If you're on a very flat type bottom, then you would go for that strong, which gives you a, a big, better contrast on slopes. So I'll just change it to light so we can see the difference. And now the shading is a bit less. So before it was a lot stronger, but we can still see the detail of those lumps and bumps and, and you know, the gaps between the, uh, the peaks of Browns Mountains. So they're the three main things. So to recap, to turn on HRCOs, I swipe from the bottom and I go depth shading to HR3D. If I want contour lines, I've got contours underneath there that I can turn on. And then if I want to edit the colors, I can turn off the auto mode and manually adjust my colors by tapping on the depth value. And then finally, my shading I can have in my home, settings, chart plotter, and PBG terrain shading. While we're in here, we can also look at the depth color shade as well, the color that's used. So Classic Hue is a rainbow color, so it goes from the red, yellow, greens, blues. Inverted just basically means it's the opposite, so your blues will be shallow, your reds will be deeper. You also have a red, blue, green, and yellow hue. They are generally user preference, so if you like to have you know, the blue hue, for instance, which kind of matches water, so the deeper the water, the darker the blue, um, the, the shallower the water, the lighter the blue. But if you do any fishing at night time, you may be interested in the red hue, which is a single red type color with a different shade of red. So you can see as it gets deeper off to the side there, it gets darker. So the darker the red, the deeper the value. Why you'd use this at night time is red has less of effect of night vision than bright colors do. So if you set the depth shading to red at night time uh, in conjunction with your brilliant settings, you'll find that it's a lot easier to read and it won't affect your night vision when you look away from the display. So that again was in home, settings, in the same place, chart plotter, same place as that PBG terrain shading. I'll flick it back to classic. One last trick on the HRCOs is, say you don't want to have the color overlaid. If it's too busy, if you don't really need the color, you just want contour lines and shading. There's a little trick that you can do with the manual, manual color shading. So if it's on automatic, again, it'll automatically set the colors to your minimum and maximum depth that's on the screen. If you turn the auto off and grab your minimum depth and put it way outside the range of what you're in, you'll see it takes away the color. So you can just have a contour uh, chart, extra contours with the shading on as well. Again, if you don't even want the, the contours, we can turn them off and we can just have a terrain shading map underneath, which gives you an idea of the slopes and drop-offs, etc. So it's a little trick again. So if you wanted to manually do the colors uh, and set it outside of range, it'll take the colors off the screen if you just want a simple contour type chart. And there we go. So we'll put that back and we'll put our contour lines back on. And contour lines back on. And that's our Map Media HRCO charts on Navnet TZ Touch 3 MFDs. If you have any questions or comments, please do not hesitate to contact Furuno support. And thanks for watching.